Hi everyone, I am Ashok Kumar, yes, and I am also called as Ashok Saleske. I am an Android developer by profession and passion. I am working in a startup called Danced in southern part of India. So from this playlist, we are going to focus for beginners who want to understand programming and get benefited of Android platform. So this total playlist is focused on practical outputs and I'm going to follow a fastidious approach which is attention to details approach. In every episode, we will analyze new component and accomplish a small application. And this series is prepared for absolute beginners and definitely not for dummies. And things you should have, a computer with your favorite operating system and an Android Studio latest version with Android SDK. A little bit of coding sense will do a lot of magic in your Android learning career. That's pretty much about it. So before we start something, let us understand Android history. The origin of the world's dominant mobile operating system, which powers more than 1 billion smartphones and tablets. So Android Alpha in November 2007, the first commercial version, Android 1.0 released in September 2008. Android is continually developed by Google and Open Handset Alliance. So these are the versions that are currently available in market and I believe Cupcake and Donut and Eclair Froyo is, is no more available. These operating systems are deprecated. So Gingerbread hun Honeycomb is having a less market share in the current mobile world and Ice Cream Sandwich Jelly Bean Kit Kat has a considerable higher ratio of market share and Lollipop and Kit Kat has the more, most of it. Marshmallow is the recent update from Android. So why Android? So why do s any software engineers need to learn Android? So these are the factors that anybody should, you know, catch up to learn Android. So it's because it's open source and large developer community and community support. So that's one big advantage for any learners or beginners that they should start off with Android and increase marketing. So there is no other platform which has this exponential increase, increase in market marketing. So and the interapp integrations, which is an awesome feature and reduced cost of development, which is again, you know, uh, when it comes to cost efficiency, Android is awesome and higher success ratio and rich development tools such as Android Studio, Gradle Build and hundreds of libraries, which we are going to discuss through the entire playlist of playlist. And these are the API levels and API levels are and just numbers where developer needs to understand which operating system is called which API level. So I have uh, just added a small preview and so I'm totally focusing on programming part rather than theory. So let's take a look of Android architecture and let's end the theory part and let's get started with the programming. So so any Android applications that we write will have application framework, will be running on top of application framework. And application framework is a bunch of Android runtime code libraries and libraries and Dalvik virtual, virtual machine. And that will be running in Linux kernel. So let's get started. So let's not wait for more theory part. Let's get started with a lot of fun. So for this episode, for all beginners, I would recommend to create something mathematical product. So let us create a counter app with all the UI elements and understanding all the components. I'm using Android Studio version 2.0 preview. And let us start building a new project. So I will call this status fun start as fun and yes it's in the right path and yes it has the right package name and I would select API level minimum 16 and go forward I'll create an empty activity 
yeah i'll go with the main activity name that sounds really good and i'll give my uh, android studio a time for sync and prepare all its project files yes so our gradle sync and our project creation is successful and this is how it looks so after this I'll, this is the folder structure in the left pane that the mouse pointer is going on this is the gradle script we would be learning a lot of gradle related library uh, projects in future for sure but now let us focus on the functional pro program let us focus on the counter app now so this is where our uh, java class uh, main activity resides and manifest so everything is beautifully organized and res folder contains all the images in drawable folder and the xml layouts in layout folder and uh, application icon can be used in mip map folder and values if we have colors like hexadecimal colors and uh, dimensions string values and styles and so forth now let me create a simple text view with match parent and uh, wrap content what i'll do i'll give it an id uh, as counter text and i'm going to increase the text size to 20 sp and text color to color primary and text style to bold and text as counts now our text view is ready so now so let me take a gravity center okay after this I'm adding one more button with pretty much same attributes id id as click and text as uh, so i would love to use string name but i'll create a manual text name as click okay so notice that i have a capital letter and uh, small letter included in the string but everything is capital in the button and it is on top of the text view now using relative layout parameter below layout so i can actually bring that button to below that counter view now it looks cleaner so how about if we change the button text color also to match the counter color yes text style bold and text size 20 sp 20 sp is scaling point okay our ui is ready a click on so now in the main activity so follow the same standard what i do so i'll comment all the program all the member instance variables that i write oh, mind the spelling now i'll create one private integer counter and initialize it to zero now private text view all my tutorials follow the coding standards so please follow the same so this is pretty much about you what name you need to give to your uh, instance variables but if it's a member instance please make sure you attach a small m before to that 
instance. Now I'll take em text view text count and there is a method called find view by id and I'll use that and I'll match this. Now em button same find view by id dot click yes and typecast typecast a button all the view classes as i said everything is view in android all the xml relative layout linear layout all of views button text views check boxes all all these are views so we have a listener called on click listener so how do we write it so take that button and type set on click listener and so this that's it so our on click listener is set to our button now here i'll take m counter and i'll make m plus plus i'll increment all the time and after that I'll attach what is been incremented through set text method. Okay, I'm compiling the program. Let me show output. I'm using a Android at screen tool to show you guys output. So I'm using real device. After this episode, after this counter app, programming stuff in Android and a lot of mathematical approach and something spectacular kind of applications that we are going to bring so stay tuned our counter app is ready i'm clicking so you should try this Please stay tuned for a lot of fun stuff for beginners. I, I will be casting a lot of fun filled and learnable and good content in future for sure. I have promised myself two video casts which teaches something fascinating spectacular videos in future. So that's it for this starting video and after that we will do a lot of stuff please do like and comment and subscribe on the channel and encourage android abcd for a lot of awesome stuff